Good morning. Ah, welcome, welcome. Patty, Carrie, Anita, Ed, nice to see you out there. Um, we're gonna flow today. I really feel like I want to move. My body's kind of feeling achy, so we're gonna get some get some flow in. Um, listen to your body. Challenge yourself as much as you need to. Sorry for missing last week. This guy over here had a bit of a seizure episode, so we were at the emergency vet last week. He's been doing well this week, though. Thank you for um, those of you that have reached out and asked how he was doing. He's good. Um, so yeah, let's get in child's pose and start moving. Yeah, take your knees nice and wide. Big toes touching. And just let yourself settle in. Nice deep breaths in and out through your nose. Be more intentional here in setting up your hands, your feet, spread out the fingers, spread out your toes. Press down into the tops of your feet, your knuckles with your hands. And bringing in these deep breaths, Ujjayi breathing in and out through the nose. A few more here, settle a little bit deeper. Together, breathe in. Together, breathe out. Long inhale. Long exhale. One more big breath. Let it go. The tabletop. I'm going to cat as you exhale, round the spine, press the floor. And cow, look up, point your tailbone up. A few more like that. Cat. Cow. Really feeling out the body. Find those areas that might be feeling tight. Cat. One more cow. Neutral spine. Downward facing dog. Lift your hips up and back. I feel like the first down dog, your practice. And pedal at your knees. It's getting present to how your body's landing as you begin. Working with your body, but challenging yourself, yeah? We're gonna move this morning. I feel like we wanna, I wanna get my heart rate up, so you're here with me. Just rest if you need it. Three-legged dog, lift the right foot up. Open up that right side of the body. Stay grounded through all 10 of your fingers with a little softness to the elbows, don't lock them out. Breathe in, lift your knee high, and switch legs, left foot up. Press the right foot down, lift and open through the left side. Big breath in, and release down. Walk up to your hands, take ragdoll. Feet wide. Interlace the arms, just let the upper body dangle down. Maybe a little bit of movement here. You can sway from side to side, let go of your head. 
Soften the neck muscles, soften the shoulders. Deep breath in. And a deep breath out. Release your fingertips down to your mat. Bring your big toes back to touch. Come up to a flat back as you inhale. And fold as you exhale. Do that one more time. Lengthen the spine. And fold. Extended mountain pose. Sweep up. Fold forward. Flat back. High plank. Low plank. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Just waking up the body here nice and slow as you start. Breathe in. And breathe out. Press down your hands and your feet. Start to wake up your center, your core muscles here. Pull the belly in. Lift up onto your toes. Bend your knees. Look to the top of your mat. Step your feet there. Flat back. And fold forward. Extended mountain, sweep up, fold. Halfway lift, Chaturanga Dandasana. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Long breath in, exhale, ground down. Breathe in and empty out. Lift onto your toes. Bend your knees. Look to the top of your mat. Hop or step between your hands. Flat back and fold. Extended mountain pose. Go up. Start to take a little back bend. Fold forward. Lengthen the spine. Chaturanga Dandasana, high to low plank. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Take a long breath in. Exhale, press the centers of your heels down. And come up onto your toes. Bend your knees. Hop or step to the top of your mat. Flat back. And full. Extended mountain. Reach up. Reach back. Fold. Empty out. Halfway lift. Chaturanga Dandasana. Upward facing. Downward facing dog. Take a breath in. Empty it out. Bend your knees, lungs empty. Hop or step to the top, flat back right away. Fill your lungs. Fold forward. Extended mountain. Each one a little bigger. Fold, empty it out. Lengthen. Chaturanga Dandasana, flow. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Breathe in, press down, lift your heels, bend your knees, hop or step to the top. Flat back and fold. Last one, extended mountain, biggest one yet. Keep reaching, expanding. 
Hold, empty your air. Halfway lift. Chaturanga Dandasana. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Full breath in. Full breath out. One more. Feeling that energy as your body starts to awaken. Soften your joints, get into the elbows and knees, the arms, the legs. A couple more breaths. Root down into your hands and your feet, being intentional in that foundation of the pose. Take a full breath in, full breath out. Lift your heels, bend your knees, hopper step to the top, flat back. Fold forward. Chair, just one breath, reach up. Fold. Lengthen. Chaturanga Dandasana. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog, right foot warrior one, big inhale, go up, chaturanga dandasana, flow it out, up dog, down dog, left side, full breath, reach, expand, chaturanga dandasana, plant your hands, flow it out, upward dog, Downward facing dog. Full breath in, full breath out. These deep, intentional ujjayi breaths. When your eyes present to your gaze, focus in and out. Lift your heels, bend your knees, empty, pause, hop to the top of your mat, flat back, fold forward, chair, and fold, halfway lift, chaturanga dandasana, upward facing dog, downward facing dog, Right foot, warrior one, go up, go back. Chaturanga Dandasana, flow it out. Upward. Downward facing dog. Left side. Step through, reach. And flow. Upward. Down dog. Breathe in. And breathe out. Building up that heat, invite it in. Onto your toes, bend your knees, hopper step to the top, flat, and fold, chair, fold, lengthen, flow it out. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog, right side, warrior one, go up, go back, keep filling, chaturanga dandasana, like float your toes on the right side, lift up, hips back, left side, full breath, and flow, left toes might flow, upward dog, downward facing dog. Big breath in, big breath out. Lift onto your toes, bend your knees, hopper step, flat, fold, chair, fold, lengthen, flow, up back, right side, high to low, up dog, 
down dog. Left side. Moving with the breath. Chaturanga Dandasana. Lift up. Hips back. Breathe in. Press down. One more. Lift your heels. Bend the knees. Hop or step. Flat. And fold. Chair pose. Fold. Halfway lift. Staying with it. High to low. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Right side. Go up. Go back. High to low plank. Upward facing. Downward facing dog. Last one. You got it. Go for it. Full expression. Chaturanga Dandasana. Flow. Upward. And child's pose. Ah. Feel your heart beating. Steady your breath. Good work. Awakening through the breath and the movement. Two more here. Deep inhale. Deep exhale. Fill your lungs. Sit a bit deeper. One more breath. Tabletop on the inhale. Downward facing dog. Lift your right foot up. Step through crescent lunge. Reach up. Hands to heart center. Lengthen forward and twist to the right. You can that activation in the back leg. Heel pulls forward. Back kneecap lifting up. Breathe in. Squeeze into the twist. Keep that scissoring through the inner thighs. Right hip back, left hip forward. Squeeze in. Twist deeper. Full inhale. Full exhale. Warrior two. Land in the lunge. Soften the shoulders. Wake up your hands. Steady breath. Steady gaze. Inhale. Inch a bit deeper. Stay here. Full breath in. Full breath out. Flip and reverse, peaceful warrior. Extended side angle. Come down. Right elbow to your knee, your fingertips come down to the ground. Left arm up. Option for the half bind. Left hand on your lower back. Option for a full bind. Keep that right arm under the right thigh. Reach for the fingers behind your back. Open the chest, strong in the legs, strong in the core. Breathe in and breathe out. Full inhale, full exhale. One more breath here. Stay with it. Open the arms, right hand on the mat, that, and then you'll move into um, side plank. Step your right foot back. Drop your right knee to the ground if you need to. You can have the feet staggered. You can have the feet stacked. You can lift the top leg up. You might even like reach for your left toe and extend the legs straight up. Full expression here. Gaze up, press down, wake up the side body. Full inhale, full exhale. Whoop. Take one more breath. Chaturanga Dandasana, flow it out. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Full breath in, full breath out, lift up onto your toes, bend your knees, step to the top of your mat, halfway lift, fold forward, chair, twist, 
to the right. Getting into the legs. Put the weight back into your heels and let your shin bones sink back. Let your tailbone descend down. Breathe and twist. Check in that your knees are in line with each other. If that left knee is popping forward, press the left foot down. Draw the left hip back. Lengthen your spine. Deepen your twist. Full breath in. Full breath out. One more. Stay with it. Center. Utkatasana. Reach up. Sit a little deeper. Take a breath in. Stay for the breath out. One more big reach. Fold forward. Fingers to toes forward. Fold. Widen your feet. And scoop up your big toes. Let go of the weight of the head and the shoulders. Find your breath. I was feeling really tired and achy this morning, and like first I was like, maybe we'll do yin or something gentle. And I realized that's not what I actually needed. <laughs> I needed to move. Sometimes the answer is rest. Sometimes the answer is actually to burn through that lethargic mindset. And if you actually needed more rest this morning, then like make it more gentle, less depth, less intensity. That's always available. And often it's your mind that's the actual hurdle, not the physical ability. So many benefits to getting your blood pumping, your heart beating. Breathe in. Breathe out. One more. And release the toes. Bring your big toes back to touch. Come up to a flat back. And fold. Do one extended mountain here, go up and back, big expansive breath. Fold forward. Halfway lift. Chaturanga Dandasana. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Left foot, crescent lunge. Step through. Wake up that back leg right away. Hands to heart center, lengthen forward, and twist. Pull your left shoulder blade back. Keep that activation through the shoulders, the integration of the upper body. Hold here. Breathe in. And breathe out. Lengthen. And twist. A couple more. Full inhale. Full exhale. Last one. Stay with it, twist deeper. Warrior two, open up. Settle into that front knee. Really strong legs. Some space, some openness through the upper body. Lock your eyes at one point. In. And go. Breathe in. Nice and deep. A little deeper. Press into your feet. Full breath in. Full breath out. Flip and reverse. Keep the lunge. And into extended side angle. Right arm up. Left elbow to the knee, your fingertips down. Option to move into the bind, a full bind or a half bind. Keep breathing. Steady breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Fill your lungs. 
Stay, sink a little deeper in the lunge. Long breath in, long breath out. Release the bind if you're in it. Plant the left hand down, side plank, step your left foot back. <laughs> it is stuck to the mat. Reach your right arm up. And then expand here. Find the variation that fits for you today. Whatever it is, challenge yourself to go bigger. And if you need less, modify for that. Full expression, whatever that means in your body today. Three more, in and out, lift up and squeeze. Take a full breath, hold it. High plank as you breathe in, low plank. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Come up onto your toes, bend your knees. Step to the top of your mat, halfway lift. Fold forward, chair, and twist. Keep strong legs, keep the knees aligned. Yeah, that right knee might try to pop forward. Again, keep them engaged, press the feet, press the palms, breathe in and breathe out. Full inhale, full exhale, three more, lengthen. And twist for two long breath in stay twisted out come to center utkatasana reach up sit into your seat full breath in full breath out one more expand and fold gorilla pose feet wide take your palms underneath your feet just let the upper body go. Just want to check the chat. Okay, we've got some spam. Good to know. Hot girls here. That's amazing. Never had that before. <laughs> I'm always paranoid when I see the chat going because there's been a couple of times where the sound wasn't there. We just have a troll. <laughs> There are hot girls here, Carrie, Patty, Anita, they're all here. Let go of the weight of your head. Really press the tops of the hands down. Long inhale, deep exhale, soften your knees a little more, really let go all the tension that you can locate in your body. It's balanced action. You do the work, you challenge yourself, and you make sure you're present for these moments of frustration as well. Release the resistance. Space to build up more. Take a breath in, take a breath out. Palms flat on the mat, move into crow today. So coming into crow, step your feet back, work the knees onto the backs of the arms, okay? So instead of to the outside of your triceps, get them into the backs of the triceps, into the armpits if you can get up that high. And lifting your heels, crow does not have to be taking your feet off the ground. I don't think I'm going to today. I did a tricep workout and my triceps just <laughs> they don't want all the way to my body there on my knees. That's okay. Still so much work happening here. Bend the elbows, start to shift forward, get more weights into the hands, more lightness in the heels. Maybe you lift up, maybe you don't. Maybe it's like one foot and then the other foot. Just play with possibility. Inhale, exhale, big breath in. Big breath out. My triceps are not happy. Take one more breath. Chaturanga Dandasana. Step or shoot back. Little plank. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Whew. That was more challenging than when I usually lift up and crawl. <laughs> Take a breath in. Empty it out. Ah. 
come up onto your toes, bend your knees, step to the top of your mat, halfway lift, fold forward, sweep all the way up, take eagle, right arm under, right leg over, sink down into it. Full breath in. Bend your left knee as deep as you can, really hugging through the inner thighs. Squeeze your glutes. Hold here. Get the elbows up nice and high in line with the shoulders, up off your chest. Take a breath in. Sleeping Eagle, keep that alignment, elbows in line with shoulders, bring them down to the knees. Hold here, two breaths, yes, yeah, squeezing tight. Really hug into a tight little ball. Full breath in. Stay for the breath out. Keep the bind. Warrior three with the bind, okay? So you're going to just press that right heel back. Keep the arms in eagle arms. Turn your right pinky toe down and then lift your right heel up. Full breath in. Full breath out. Nice and slow. Unravel the arms. Reach them up over your head. Warrior three. Press like you're squeezing something between your hands. Wake up the arms, wake up the shoulders, wake up that left leg, full breath in, full breath out. One more reach, squeeze, hands to your mat, standing splits. Keep the hips closed. So your toes face down to the ground, they're at 12 o'clock. Hips lifted up, keep the heel high, working that glute. Breathe in, breathe out, let your head fall down. Keep your heel high, that activation, that internal rotation of the leg as you turn the toes down. One more, breathe in, breathe out. We'll do revolve tap moon today. So right hand on the ground, left hand either on your lower back or you reach the left hand up, twisting towards the left side of your mat. Hips stay closed, heel goes high. Take a big breath in, take a big breath out. Expand here a little more, fullest expression. Go for it, biggest breath. And feet together, fold. Whew, so good, halfway lift, fold forward. Sweep all the way up. Take eagle on your left side. Left arm under, left leg over. Keep those elbows up nice and high. Tendency over here to dump the arms down. Elbows in line with shoulders, and you press the hands away from your face. Be working that contraction of center line, forearms, biceps, press into each other. Breathe in. Bend your right knee more. Hugging the inner thighs. Your glutes, they might not be active. Wake them up. Full breath in. Sit a little deeper. Inhale, elbows up. And then nice and slow with the exhale, that full exhale. Sleeping eagle, hinge forward. Two breaths in and out. Contract, squeeze. Full breath, hold it, unravel the leg, bound warrior three. Still pressing through the biceps, the forearms, and closing the hips, so turning the toes down, that internal rotation of the leg. If you fall out like I just did, come right back. Big breath in, big breath out. Heel higher, your core muscles stabilizing this, yeah? Slowly, with control, unravel the arms. Warrior three, three breaths. Arms forward, squeezing like you're holding something between your hands. Wake up the arms, lift up the collarbones. Take a breath in, take a breath out. One more, inhale, reach and lift. Hands down, standing splits. Keep the toes turned down, but keep that heel lifting, that left bum cheek, your glute muscles, squeeze it in. Stabilize the leg. And let go of the upper body. Breathe in. Breathe out. A few more here. Get it high. Inhale. Exhale. Shake your head out. Yes. And no. Reach for your block if you're using it. Revolve half moon. Left hand down. Right hand can start on your lower back to kind of activate the twist, and then maybe you reach the right arm up. Rotating the chest towards the right side of your mat. 
and keeping active. Press back the left heel, lift your heel high. Breathe in, breathe out. Again, reach and twist. One more, stay for that full expression and release, feet together, fold. Halfway lift, fold forward. Do that one more time. Feel that stretch of the spine. Fold, hug into your legs. Sweep all the way up. Dancer, right side. Grab the inside of the right foot. Grabbing the inside of the foot, your elbow facing out, it gives you more space in the shoulder, yeah? So you're kicking into the hand, create that tension in the arm. Strengthen the right leg. Lift your heel high. Breathe in. Breathe out. A few more. Steady gaze. Pull your left shoulder back, your right hip forward. Get the body squared to the top of your mat. Take one more breath, full expression, and switch sides. Dancer on the left. Elbow facing out, the inner elbow facing out. I should say that was confusing. So lift up. Breathe in. Body squared. It tries to open to the side you're kicking back into. So you again, pull left hip forward, right shoulder back, pull it in, lift that heel up, full breath in, full breath out. Last one, big expression here and release. Tree on the right side. Bring the right foot up. Above or below your knee, pressing. Whoop. My balance is off. That's okay. Just always have another breath to reset. Create the foundation of feet, core, hands. Hands are active, present. Full body expression, go for it. If you take your gaze up, trace it up slowly, present to one point, land on it, and then express out. By pulling in, you create that container. Inhale, exhale, fingers, Spark them up, take one more big, big breath, and release, switch sides. Tree on the left. Start with the hands at heart center, create that foundation. You press down, you pull in, and then you lift up. Express out. more. Biggest breath, biggest expression, and release. Extended mountain arms up, fold forward, halfway lift, chaturanga dandasana, flow it out, upward facing dog, downward facing dog, right foot warrior one, Open to warrior two, Trivanasana. straighten the right leg, reach forward and come down, use a block if you need it. And if you think you don't need it, you can probably benefit from it. Hand to the outside of the right foot, yeah, bring it there, start to lean back and open the twist. Full breath in, full breath out. Option here today for broken triangle, you take the right foot out to the left side of your mat. You might have the foot on the ground. You might lift it up, more challenge there, more oblique. Breathe in, breathe out. Pressing out through that right heel, lifting the hips, lift your gaze. Take a full breath in, 
Take a full breath out. One more big, big breath. High plank. Low plank. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Left foot. Warrior one. Open to two. And trikonasana. Come forward with those left fingers and then bring them down. Use the block. Reach up. Lean back. Option to stay here. We're going to bring the foot through. Broken triangle. Ground through the sole, the whole sole of that right foot if you can. Maybe play with lifting the foot up. The left side. Three breaths in and out. Squeeze. So much work in that side body. Squeeze it. Feel it. Take another breath. Hold it. High plank. Little plank. High plank, and then lower all the way down to your belly. <sighs> Take rest. Belly Shavasana, soften for a moment. Feel your heartbeat. Long inhale, long exhale. One more. And chin to center. Take a locust pose. You can either do arms back or bind the hands behind your back. Lift yourself up for five, four, squeeze. For three, two, hold it. Last one, lift a little higher and bring the opposite cheek down. Hmm. Bend your knees. Reach for your ankles, floor bowl. Now the elbows are facing out. So you've got the outer part of the ankle in your hands. Create that tension and the arms kick back. Five. For four. Full expression, really kick. Lift up the chest, press down through the tops of the thighs. Take one more breath in and slowly come down right away. Upward facing dog, lift into it. Downward facing dog. Walk your feet to your hands. Come down onto your back. Take one bridge. Drive the hips up. Lift your chest up and back. Really pressing through the back of the skull. Get the neck stabilized. Breathe in, breathe out, let's go higher, squeeze, one more breath, slowly come down, set yourself up for wheel, just one wheel today, so go right into it, yeah, don't waste time, don't think about it too much, just press up, full expression, breathe. Whatever you need to do here, take it on fully, take it on powerfully, keep breathing, present, in and out, two more, go for it, last breath in, and slowly come down, Supta Baddha Konasana, soles of the feet together, knees wide, right hand on your belly, left hand on your heart. Close your eyes if that's comfortable. Just let yourself melt here.
happy baby. Grab the outsides of your feet. Pull knees down towards the armpits. And you can sway gently from side to side. Keep as much of your spine on the floor as you can. Press down through the lumbar spine, the lower back, tailbone even. And deep breath in. And deep breath out. We're going to stay on our backs for the rest of the practice. Figure four stretch. Take the right ankle on the left knee. Extend the left heel straight up. A variation of thread the needle, if you know that pose. Taking hands behind the left leg. So you interlace the hands from either side of the thigh and then draw your right, sorry, your left thigh in. At the same time, use that right elbow. Press your right thigh, your right knee out away from you. So this is decent hip opener. You just have to bring that activation. You pull in and at the same time you press out. Keep your lower back on the floor. Keep breathing. Press out, drive that left heel up, get that hamstring stretched at the same time. Take one more breath here and then slowly release the left foot to the ground. Cross your right leg over your left leg and then drop your knees to the left, twisted root. A variation of supine twist just takes it a little bit deeper. So right leg is crossed on top of the left leg and then both knees fall over to the left side. Practice your arms or extend them out and gaze to the right. Still breathing. The breath doesn't have to be quite as fiery. It doesn't have to be ujjayi, but just as intentional, just as focused. Long inhale, a long exhale. Do that one more time. Stay for the twist. Come back to center. Figure four stretch. Left ankle on the right knee, right heel straight up to the ceiling. Reach through to the back of that right thigh. Interlace your fingers, get a good grasp on it so you can pull in. Right thigh pulls in, right heel presses up. Really active in that right leg and then using the left elbow to push the left knee away from you. Getting that left hip flexor at the same time. Steady breath. in and press out. Deepen it a little bit more. If there's space for it, get right to that edge. Feel the hips. Feel the back of that right leg. Take one more breath in. Deepen it as you exhale. And then bring the right foot down to the ground, cross left leg over the right leg, and drop your knees. You might want to shift your hips to the left a little bit to give some more space, and then both legs over to the right side. So again, left leg crossed on top of the right leg, twisted root, knees over to the right. 
Keep breathing. Keeping your mind steady as you approach the end of the practice, check if your mind starts to wander to what's coming next in your day. You're doing this work here, especially when the movement slows down, it's more challenging to stay grounded in your thoughts, centered right here. Take one more breath in, one more breath out. Back to center, unravel the legs. Option for waterfall with your hips up on a block or your hands underneath your lower back or shoulder stands, taking the hips up over the shoulders. Press through the back of the skull. Important not to look from side to side in shoulder stand. It's not good for the neck, yeah? You press the back of the head, feel that neck support. Deep inhale, deep exhale. Stay where you are or move into plow. Feet come down behind the head. And you might move into a bent leg plow with the knees beside the ears. Breathe in, breathe out, one more. And slowly come back down onto your mat. Supta Baddha Konasana, one last time. Soles of the feet together, knees wide. Spread one hand on your belly, one hand on your heart. A few breaths here, just to land. On your next exhale, knees together and draw them into your chest. Hug in here, take one last breath, squeeze tight on the inhale and Shavasana, release. Take rest, be still. Those last few moments of your practice are some of the most important. You really don't wanna skip over just letting your body land in all of that work that it just did. I will read from Journey to the Heart by Melody Beatty. Today's reading. Is this it's this one. Heal your past. Open your heart to the universe. Let it bring you love and comfort. Let it bring you healing. Let it take you back to your past long enough to heal so you can move forward into joy. Universal love can bring something other than straightforward movement. Sometimes it takes us backward into our past and leaves us there long enough to heal. An incident occurs and we react strongly. 
our emotions are more intense than necessary for the present moment. We may not even notice. We may think, this is now, this is how I'm feeling about what's happening today. But as we become more aware, some part of us says, I'm feeling something from yesterday too. Something I wasn't safe enough to see and feel then. Let yourself feel your past. Let yourself heal. Take responsibility for your behaviors and let the emotions clear. Then you will see what the universe has done. It has just created a healing scenario for you. A gentle trigger to the past, a gentle step forward for your heart. Take a deep breath in, a deep breath out. Wiggle your fingers, your toes, a full body stretch. Slowly bring yourself up to a seated position, eyes closed, hands at your heart center. Sit up tall. Take a deep breath in, sigh it out, thumbs to your forehead center. We bow together. Thank you. Good work. That's a little bit more challenging than we do sometimes. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Drop in the chat and let me know how it felt if you're here with me live um, or leave it in the description if you're watching this later on. A um, couple of things. Next week is Halloween. So those of you that have been with me for a couple of years here know that I do some ridiculous children's Halloween poses for the Halloween practice. So come for that. It's going to be lots of fun. We add in like werewolf and vampire and uh, zombie and spider and bat. There's lots of cool, ridiculous poses that were made up for children, and I like to incorporate them into the journey into power flow. So we'll do that next Sunday morning. And um, yeah, keep moving your body, keep nourishing your body, nourishing your body. Check out the link in the description of this video, okay? I have a plant-based um, cooking class that I do every Thursday night. Uh, this week we're doing Persian food. I'm actually leaving right from this, this recording. I'm going to be going and doing um, like a meal prep, macro bowl meal prep class on this, this Sunday afternoon. So lots of great stuff coming up. I'm going to update the website all the way through to December pretty soon, get the rest of this year uh, worth of classes up. But I'm offering one free drop-in class. So there's a promo code in the description of the video that you can use to get $15 off, which is the price of a drop-in class and come cook with me. I would love to cook with you and get to see some of your faces. Um, yeah, keep moving your body, keep nourishing your body, hopefully with me. Um, stay committed to a daily mindfulness practice and have an awesome rest of your day. I will see you soon. Mr. B, come and see. Hello. Yeah, people were worried about you. Come over here. Come here. Snorer. Yeah, you're a snorer. Come here. Come here. He's on a new medication, so he's kind of like drugged up. <laughs> Certainly wore you out. Amazing. Ed. That's what we're looking for, right? You'll feel so good later today. Who else felt extremely satisfying hearing Mr. B's deep snore? That's snoring, Carrie, not just deep breathing. <laughs> My pleasure, Patty, Anita, Carrie. Awesome. If anyone wants to find hot girls, please don't click on that link if you see it in the chat. That's probably not a good idea. <laughs> Have an awesome day, everybody. I will see you soon.